Hi guys, it's Robin and welcome back to The Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I have the privilege of making this absolutely beautiful fishing theme cake for a very special gentleman who is celebrating his 100th birthday this year. I'm so honored to make this cake and I can't wait to get started. So let's get into it. All right guys, so today I'm just gonna be using two eight inch vanilla cakes and I'm gonna use my cake leveler just to trim the tops off these to give us some nice even layers. And then I'm gonna flip them over and we're gonna trim off all this caramelization. Now once you've tidied all that up, you're gonna grab your cake board and your icing. And today I'm just using some vanilla American buttercream. So we're gonna take a little bit of icing on our palette knife and we're just gonna spread it on our cake board to secure our cake. This is gonna act like a little, bit, a little bit of a glue for the cake. You're gonna take your first layer. We're gonna put it where we want it. We're just gonna give it a little press down. And then we're gonna to continue to stack this cake and fill it so we can finish trimming off all the caramelization. So now we're going to seal in all these crumbs with a nice thin coat of icing and then we're going to pop it in the fridge to chill for about 20 minutes. And by the way, if you haven't done so already and you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit them like and subscribe buttons. So there's all kinds of fun fondant decorations on this cake. We have a fishing net, all kinds of sea life, and we even have a steering wheel. But because the steering wheel is actually going to be standing up on the cake, we're gonna do that one first. So I'm gonna roll out some fondant, and we're just gonna use my little paper stencil that I made to cut out the shape we need. So I finished part of my steering wheel and I set that to dry for a little bit. So now we're gonna start working on our little sea creatures. And I'm gonna be making a little swordfish with this little stencil that I've made. And I'm also gonna make a little 3D crab and lobster to go with that. All right, so we finished with all our little sea creatures and I think they turned out absolutely adorable. So we're gonna set these to dry again and I'm gonna grab my steering wheel again and we're gonna add a little banner to the front of it with a 100 in it. So we finished making all of the decorations we needed to make ahead of time because they needed time to dry. The rest can be made just before we put them on the cake. So our next job is to finish icing our cake. So I'm gonna take some white buttercream and I'm gonna put a nice generous coat on our cake and then I'm gonna smooth it all out with my bench scraper. Thank you. 
So with the buttercream I have left, I'm just going to reserve a little bit of white to use in just a few minutes. We're going to set that aside. Then I'm going to take my blue food coloring and we're going to mix up a few different colors of blue in one bowl. And now I'm going to grab my cake again and I'm going to attempt to ice a fault line ocean effect around the base of the cake. So to make the net, I'm going to be using um, sort of a military green color, and I'm going to roll this out really, really thin with my fondant rolling pin. Then we're going to take our X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut very thin strips of fondant. And using the lines on my cutting board for reference, I'm going to weave those strips together and make a net. Here's my net. I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to set this aside for a few minutes while I make a golden rope to go around the base of our cake and then I'm going to put them on the cake together. There, that's starting to look really cool. So next I'm going to take my swordfish and I'm going to place that where I want it to be because he's going to be swimming in the water. And then I'm going to take my net and I'm going to drape it down over one side of the cake. Alright, now that I have my net in place, and before I start adding all the other finishing touches, I want to write my happy birthday message, and I'm going to do that by painting with gel food color onto my very cold buttercream. And now for the rest of our finishing touches. Well guys, here it is, my fish and themed birthday cake, and I love it. I think it turned out awesome, and I really hope it's the perfect cake to help him celebrate his 100th birthday. And I hope you guys all like it too. If you did, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, and let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't done so already, and you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Thanks for watching, guys.